Happy June 12th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. When last we played, Ivy and party explored the caverns beneath the caverns beneath the town of Mudbrook. We got pretty banged up and decided to use our once per rest healing light ability and eat some honey, which functions as a healing potion. So we're back up to 14 of 19 health. Uh, we left off at the end of this long, straight tunnel that appears to us to be of unnatural origin. It's engineered or machined, perhaps. And that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Oh dear. It's like a mechanical beetle or something. As you exert pressure against the obstruction... I guess at the end of this tunnel, um, you realize this solid, sleek surface is covered in fur-like fibers. Suddenly the ground trembles and the obstacle starts rotating, revealing a massive insect before you. Its nose features a formidable drill-like appendage, spinning with a resonating buzz. A small, frightened bug cowers behind it. Okay. Um... Four round, we've got four rounds of combat here. Roll for each round. There's a dexterity roll in addition to our normal attack um, damage and defense. So let's see what we got here. There isn't enough room to maneuver in the tunnel. Be careful not to get pinned down. Um, four rounds. If your dexterity roll is less than this symbol that looks like a rose to me, you are restrained and unable to attack. If you're not restrained in your attack, then it's normal. Um, if you hit and your damage roll equals or exceeds the enemy's health, I guess for that, oh, it's got different health each round. The enemy is stunned this round and cannot attack you. Okay. Um, and then otherwise, otherwise looks like normal combat. Okay, here we go. Round one, um, the insect lunges forward, aiming its rotating drill nose directly at you, attempting to impale you. That's not good. Uh, so we're going to do a dexterity roll, 11, uh, plus 2, I think, for our dexterity. So we beat that. We are not restrained, right? Okay, so we get to attack. We're going to roll a 7, plus our attack of 6 is 13, so we hit him. And now we're hoping to do 8 damage and stun him. And we do. 6 plus 2 is 8. So he is stunned. Um, and he cannot attack us, right? Uh, the enemy is stunned this round and cannot attack you. Perfect. Okay, that's round 1. Round 2. It swings its drill nose in a wide arc, creating a threatening barrier. That you must avoid. Okay. Here's our dexterity roll. 19. Easily. We are not restrained. Now we'll attack and try to beat a defense of 15. I guess 17. So we hit him. And now we want to do 7 points of damage. We're hoping 14. Excellent. That's two rounds gone our way. Round three. The insect charges at you, drilling into the ground and sending debris flying in your direction. Okay, here's our dexterity roll. 19. Excellent. We are not restrained. We want to try to beat his defense of 12. We get a 7 plus our attack of 6 is 13, so we beat his defense. Now we want to do 9 damage or more. 8. 14 damage. Excellent. Um, okay, round four, last round. It abruptly retracts its drill nose, then rapidly extends it, attempting to strike you with a powerful jabbing motion. Okay, here we go. That's our dexterity roll. We are not restrained. We get to attack. Oh, wow, defense of 16. 10 plus our attack is 6. That's 16. We hit him. We want to do 6 damage. A 13. Wow. We beat them all four rounds. That's outstanding. Um, if you didn't defeat the enemy, it shakes off the damage and regroups for another attack. 
i guess i guess uh, maybe i don't know what happens there but that's not us so collect one amber for each round you stunned the enemy um that was all four rounds and then collect d8 additional amber if you dealt a total of 30 damage oh boy i th think we did we got we got 13 just on this one alone i guess i should have kept track of how much damage we did 15 plus 9 is 24 plus 6 is 30 yeah we stunned them every round so we did at least 30 damage so we get four plus d8 amber um here we go four we get uh eight amber total that takes us to 37 there we excellent that was outstanding that that i think is by far the best rolling we've done um what is this gee we're almost halfway through the year <laughs> in, in five or six months that was uh by far the um best rolls good job ivy and party and that my friends is june 12th so we shall say goodbye for now and visit ivy and friends again tomorrow i hope you will join us thanks for watching